Let's look at solving linear equations. For example, let's solve the following equation for y. The first thing we'll do is we'll distribute the 3 to both of these two terms, as well as the 5 to these two terms, which gives us 3 times y plus 6 is equal to 5 times y minus 30. Now when solving linear equations, what we want to do now is bring all the variables to one side and all the numbers to the other, which would give us 3y minus 5y is equal to negative 30 minus 6 or negative 2y is equal to negative 36. And now dividing both sides by negative 2 gives us our answer of y is equal to 18. Now if we didn't want to work with all of these negatives, we could have started in the same way by distributing the 3 and the 5 through, giving us this 3y plus 6 is equal to 5y minus 30. But now if we bring the 3y to the right and the negative 30 to the left, we get 6 plus 30 is equal to 5y minus 3y, or 36 is equal to 2y. And now dividing by 2 gives us the same answer of y is equal to 18. But we didn't have to work with all those negatives. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for t. Again, we'll start in a similar way and distribute this negative 3 to both of these two terms as well as the 5 to both of these two terms, which gives us 4 minus 3t minus 6 plus t is equal to 5t minus 5 minus 7t. Now let's combine like terms on both sides of the equation. The 4 and the negative 6 are like terms, as well as the negative 3t and t, and so are 5t and negative 7t. Combining these gives us that 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and then negative 3t plus t is negative 2t is equal to 5t minus 7t is negative 2t, and then minus 5. Again, let's bring all the variables to one side and the numbers to the other. And what does that give us? We have negative 2t plus 2t is equal to negative 5 plus 2. But isn't the left-hand side here just 0? So 0 is equal to negative 5 plus 2 or negative 3? No. So what does that mean? That means that no value of t will work. No matter what value of t we try to plug into this equation, we will never get a true statement. And what would our answer be in such a situation? Our answer would be no solution. because there's no value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now what if this value over here, negative 3, actually had turned out to be 0? Then what would our answer be in that situation? We'd have 0 is equal to 0, which is always true. So no matter what value of t you'd plug in, we'd always arrive at a true statement. Our answer in such a situation would be all real numbers. All right, let's see another example. Now this example is different in that we have these fractions here. Now there's different approaches to solving such an equation. But the approach that students seem to like best is to find the least common multiple of these denominators here, 
So we can multiply both sides of the equation by that least common multiple to eliminate the fractions. So let's do that. What is the least common multiple of these denominators here? Isn't that 30? So let's multiply both sides of this equation by 30. So we have 30 times the entire left side. is equal to 30 times the entire right side. And now let's distribute the 30 to these two terms, as well as these two terms, which gives us 30 times v plus 10 divided by 15 plus 30 times negative one-fifth is equal to 30 times v plus 1 divided by 6 plus 30 times negative one-tenth. Now 15 goes into 30 two times, so we'll have a 2 left here. 5 goes into 30 six times, so we'll have a 6 left here. 6 goes into 30 five times, we'll have a 5 left here. And 10 goes into 30 three times, we'll have a 3 left here. And now our equation has simplified as follows. 2 times v plus 10 plus 6 times negative 1 is equal to 5 times v plus 1 plus 3 times negative 1. And we've eliminated the fractions. And now let's distribute the 2 and the 5 through, which gives us 2 times v plus 20, and then we have minus 6 is equal to 5 times v plus 5, and then minus 3. And now combining like terms, we have 2v, and then 20 minus 6 is 14, is equal to 5v, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And now we'll bring all the variables to one side and the numbers to the other. If we bring the 2v to the right and the 2 to the left, if you remember from the first example, then we can eliminate working with the negative coefficient of v. That is, we have the following. 14 minus 2 is equal to 5v minus 2v, or 12 is equal to 3v, and dividing both sides by 3 gives us our answer of v is equal to 4. And this is how we solve different types of linear equations. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.